Hello, this is Tyler Young with Go Engineer. I am a senior support engineer. Today I would like to introduce you to SolidWorks Sustainability. That is a package that's available inside of SolidWorks. And I just want to kind of start off by saying what is sustainability? A definition that's been used is sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. So with that being said, part of our design should be able to, like it says, not compromise future generations. So we need to be able to use the uh, materials as best of, to the best of their ability. So what we're looking at here is a little wind turbine that I've kind of made, mocked up for us. So this would have a turbine that you would kind of spin around, a kind of a vertical wind turbine. So let's take a look at this part specifically and let's turn on this sustainability tool. So here in sustainability um, we get to look at many different options um, that f factor into the building of the material. So we have our, or of the part, we have our material, we have the manufacturing, where it's going to be used, and, and all those different information tests there. Right now what I'd like to be looking at specifically is material. So right now we have a specific material defined and down here this gives us our our results so what is the impact of this item so right now it's just giving us a percentage of baseline but it we can get specific numbers out of it we want to compare this though so we want to compare this steel material to a different material we want to find something similar so I'm gonna click that find similar button pull this over and we want to find something that has a similar density and also a similar yield strength so something pretty close to that we can click that find similar and we get a list of materials that um, fall into those categories. So we're just going to say, oh look, we've got this galvanized steel here. And we're going to say, you know, that looks pretty good here in our results. We've got uh, a number of improvements. So we can accept that. That pulls up here, gives us our updated results. Um, but what if we actually want just a completely different material, not something similar? We can change that up here. We can just come here to our aluminum alloys and say, you know, we actually want a 60-61 alloy. So we pull that up. We can set our material, set that material, and that actually sets the SolidWorks material. That updates our results. So one of the results here that is, is new to SolidWorks is this uh, material financial impact. So this is basically how much does this material going to cost you to buy based on weight. Um, so that's a, a great tool that's here in the sustainability. We can then take this and save this out as a report. And when we get that report, what we get is a Word document that pulls up our document, our part with this different information that we have. So here we have the actual numbers, so the hard numbers that we were getting from our report. And it also pulls up a comparison from our initial part. So our initial material was that ANSI 304. So this has just been a quick introduction to what sustainability can do for you. It can help you to identify different types of materials, different ways to improve this sustainability of your part. Thank you for watching. Again, my name is Tyler Young.